Sina, thank you for being with us. I really appreciate it. You know, in the last days, I've been reading all the new headlines, and we went further and got, there's a 900-page document that I have been, you know, wading through. And I've got to tell you, it just made my heart stop. And I understand that you and Maddie's bio dad are reeling at the new information. Which aspect of the new information just released is the most concerning to you? Um, I think the biggest aspect has been the timelines that, you know, we weren't, you're ready to hear, but you're never ready to hear. And so seeing those kind of lay out and, and essentially a lot of my family and I, we haven't read through the documents, um, but I have seen quite a bit from social media and it's just, it's just devastating. And um, the description of how she was found and just things of that nature, just it, you're never ready to hear something like that, especially when it's somebody that you've watched grow up and, you know, it's, it's truly devastating. And love. All of it. You know, Teresina, everyone joining us is a special guest, uh, Maddie's aunt, Teresina Niles. I don't think that you should be hard on yourself at all. Do you know to this day, today, I have never gone to the scene where my fiance was murdered. Why? Because it would just put me back at square one. I'd start all over again. I mean, sometimes it's just too much to take in. I've just been thinking so much about what I'm hearing, it's especially the part, the allegation that Maddie was being molested by this guy as young as age eight. And I bet anything she never said a word to her dad about it. No. I, I, we wouldn't be, like none of this would have happened if, if we even had an inkling. So it, it's, I think that was another, um, ooh, sorry, that was another uh, thing from the, the documents once we saw how many other of her friends and people didn't know either and we're just it doesn't take the pain away or the guilt um that's that that's there but it does show that like that nobody knew that closest to her and, and it really is devastating other than the people that, that did know i guess miss niles did you guys have any idea that the mother was letting was just basically sending Maddie off to sleep with no. the boyfriend at night? Not at all. Not at all. I, I just. So all of this I is, take is that news. In. Mm -mm. How is Maddie's dad reacting to all this? He must be devastated. It's been it's been difficult um, to to just see my brother in law Tyler and my sister Tatiana just go through any of this just because they loved her so deeply. Um, and it's, I, it's incomprehensible. I truly can't even find the words to, to convey the devastation that I'm witnessing and seeing and, and reading. Um, it just makes everyone really sick, really, really, really sick. I pray to God, Miss Niles, I pray to God that one mother out there and one father, especially dads who are not in the home, like when the parents are divorced or separated, hear this and understand what's happening in so many homes across our country. Guys, I want you to take a listen to more of what the mom says. What was she last seen wearing? Green hoodie, um, green hoodie, white Crocs, white Crocs, either blue or black pants. I think black shorts. Black shorts. Yeah. Black shorts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Black shorts. All right. Do you know if she has like friends in the area? She does, but she doesn't know where they live. She doesn't know where she, they live. Okay. I asked 